The wood that I used for this project was a reclaimed black walnut. Although it had its imperfections, it was perfect for what my clients wanted, which was sort of a rustic set of core bells that would be connected by a beam. In actuality, the thickness was about 12 quarters, so other than the bandsaw would have had quite a hard time cutting through this, but the bandsaw was like cutting butter. I needed to have enough stock in order to create the blocks in which I would cut out the shapes of the corbels. I moved on to rip the stock to create the beam that will connect the two core bells. I just freehanded the rips, left a mark on the wood, trying to stay as straight as possible in order to save time when I was going to hand plane. I had to get some more walnut in order to create the other square stock from which the second corbel would be cut. So basically it's just repeating the same process as before. Cutting out some of the wood that was already too eaten up by woodworms and trying to find the most uh, matching and clean parts that I could use to glue up. After that I started to rough rip all the gluing boards to somewhat square pieces. I grabbed my joiner plane and I started to true up one face and one side. Thank you. 
I started to prep everything and I aligned my boards and I made sure I used ample glue because I did not want this to come apart. On both corbels, I tried to match the grain as perfectly as I could. There is one part at the extremity that is a little bit lighter and also has a little bit more marks from the woodworms, which, in case you wonder, they're now gone, but they, of course, have this character that remained. For a glue up like this, it's not needed to have too many clamps, it's just two clamps did it. I made sure I put some tape on them, that way I didn't leave any marks from the iron onto the wood. I actually filled off camera the beam with some wood putty and then I just sanded everything off. This was the first time I got to see how the finish looked and I know it's walnut and you might wonder why I stained it. It's just what my clients wanted. And in the end it sort of helped unify everything. Here I'm cutting the beam to final length which was 99 centimeters. After a day, I started to plane down the blocks that would later be the corbels. And even though everything was sort of straight, I just went on top with a smoothing plane and brought everything to a single plane. A combination square and some French curves did the trick to, I guess, put somewhat of a pleasing but simple shape on these corbels. I do have a selection of bandsaw blades that came with the saw. The gentleman did marquetry, however, I was surprised that he didn't give me any, any narrower, thinner blades. So this was the narrowest that I had, which was about half of an inch. But the set on it was very aggressive, so uh, I made sure that I was sort of making a lot of grinding cuts and taking my time because I did not want to mess up the shape.
I guess in the future I will be getting some more thinner blades. So for a more pleasing, finer shape, I just uh, use the combination of rasps, files, and some uh, more aggressive sandpaper. There are some parts that I chamfered with a hand plane. And I made sure I got into the corners so the shape again would, wouldn't look that rough. Like before on the beam, I applied a little bit of wood putty to fill up the holes that were left by the woodworm. I then sanded everything down once more and I moved on to the next step was actually aligning the corbels to the beam and making some marks on where to drill the holes. These were holes that I sort of counterboard and then I used a smaller drill bit in order to create a path for the screws to go. I basically just wanted to bury the heads of the screws. Marking the holes on the beam, then I went ahead back to the drill press and uh, I just drilled all the way through. I took the whole assembly to the drill press again and drilled the holes that would house the screws that would hold everything up onto the doorway. I added one more screw to complete the assembly from the top of the beam on each side. Then I moved on to applying the gel stain to the core bells itself. This gel finish is a water-based finish and I'm calling it also a finish because it does have a protective layer 
but it also stains. However, after I applied some clear finish, that again is water-based, and I have had great results with it. It dries fast, especially in the climate that I live in. And this is the final product. Thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, I'll see you on to the next episode.